Hello everyone, welcome back to the ICT lesson and I'm going to share with you how to use an online platform to do similar function with Photoshop and this platform which is photopeer.com so you can open this platform and in my Google Classroom you will find that there is a JPG file which is a very famous cartoon icon Zheng Han. And what you need to do is to download the file and then simply drag the file into the photo peer. And then um, at a very beginning step, I used to teach my students in protocol, we need to duplicate this layer first because uh, we can keep the original version all the time. And the next step is to hide this layer. So we can click on the eye, all right? And there is also another hotkey to duplicate the layer, which is Control J. And you can try that anyway. If you wish to rename the layer, you can simply double click it and then you can give it a new name for uh, this layer. And then we are going to work on this layer. So make sure that you are highlighting this layer, all right? And we are going to remove the background and the step is very simple. So I would like you guys to go to the left hand sidebar. You will see this icon and we are going to choose this magic wand. And we are going to choose the magic wand and you will see uh, it seems nothing happened, right? But uh, you will see this two bar. It means we are having our magic wand turning on. And then what we need to do is just use the cursor to simply click on the white background. And then you will see that there will be some dotted line highlighting the area uh, you just click on, all right? And then what's next is to simply hit the delete key on your keyboard and you will soon see that the background is just deleted all right and then the next step is to is to uh, take a look if there are any where you want to remove the background so I see that there is a place I want to uh, remove it as well so I'm going to uh, zoom in this picture and you can simply hold the alternate key on your keyboard and when you hold the alternate key on your keyboard and you will see the screen is zooming in it's enlarged and then uh, you what you need to do is to click on this area once again and then you will see this area is highlighting and then click the uh, hit the delete button again and right now you have you have this uh, background removed picture and the next step is to export this picture so uh, it is also the very important step click on the file and export as and then for this time you need to choose png you need to choose either png or gif because only these two files support transparent background okay and i love to choose png so i'm going to choose png and then you will see there is a quality option and i used to choose 100 percent quality and then i what we need to do is simply to click it click to save and then you will be asked to export the file into your computer or chromebook so you can give it a new name, all right, and then save. So right now you have you have this picture already got the background removed. But how can we know that? I give you uh, an experiment so that you can follow the try. It's very simple. You can go to Google Slide and you can create a very simple Google Slide like this. And you can choose any slide themes with uh, some color background. And I'm going to choose this one and then drag the picture into the Google slide. And you can choose the picture, move the picture into the Google slide. And then you will see all the 
background is removed okay and then you will see uh the beautiful girl will not be uh i mean the background will not be overlapping uh the google slides background so that you will find that this background removal uh, function is very very useful for you Ex as well as this platform photo here uh, this is actually um, almost the same as photoshop and give you the same function as photoshop and i highly recommend you guys to use the photopia.com and uh, one more thing about photopia which is it is totally free of charge so it is a really good news for those who are learning to using photoshop or who are learning to do some image editing all right i hope this video is useful for you all right let me know if you have any questions see you next time thank you so much